All right, guys. Here's a um, 77 Punnett Can-Am. Uh, I coined this one Tupelo uh, because it came from Tupelo, Mississippi, where it was known as the fastest car in Tupelo. Um, that's right. Apparently, the owner of this one did some street racing with it, and uh, it was the fastest car in Tupelo. That's what they say. I'm a sucker for a story, so I believe it. Uh, it's got some really good patina on it. Uh, externally, I'm not sure there's a panel that actually needs to be replaced. Take it through here. Show you low. This is pretty rare. The previous owner uh, did take some liberties with the stripes, as you can, as you can see. We've got a uh, couple of uh, WTF moments here, but it's a very solid car. Very solid. Let me get to the other side here before we do anything else. Extremely solid on the exterior here. It's a complete car. It's a numbers matching. Uh, 400. Unfortunately, I tried to turn this motor over. Uh, I, I think it's stuck. And I'm guessing what happened was the fastest car in Tupelo uh, cut the scoop there. As you can see, and I think he let water in through there. That got down in the motor and seized it up. But it is a numbers matching. I did run the numbers. It's a numbers matching motor. Air conditioning car. Headers. It does have headers on it to go with the, uh, the street racing theme. We've got some headers on there. And that's not all. Take a tour with me back to the trunk area and you'll see a spot where the nitrous bottle was was mounted. All right, little, little go-go juice back here in the back. Um, the trunk, here's our spoiler. It's not on that little <laughs> thunder chicken. I hope he was a better driver than he was designer because, whew. All right, got some holes here. here so the trunk is going to need some work the passenger side floorboard is going to need replaced as well i looked under it and could see that it's a bench seat automatic on a column car the dash is pretty much toast it's got a, a clock in the in the dash and not a tack and, uh, I, you know, this whole fastest car in Tupelo thing, I was doubting until I found these under the seat. Numchucks. Anybody that carries these around means freaking business. Pay up, sucker. I'll throw those numchucks in. Maybe buys the car. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Those are priceless. Complete car. But it is a project. Snowflake wheels. I never ran the PHS on it. I can't confirm that it came with it from the factory. Uh, but I do have all four snowflakes. The uh, left rear right now is a rally too because I took this snowflake off because it wasn't holding air. Uh, but I do have all four matching snowflake wheels. And uh, carburetor. On the car, plumb for nitrous. Here's the original carburetor. Comes with it. So, 
That way you can decide if you want to continue its racing traditions or not.